top news headlines. Voting underway in Delhi Assembly elections amid tight security. And coronavirus epidemic almost certain to become more deadly than SARS. Welcome to Times of Manipur Television. You are watching the news today at 1 p.m. I'm loving with the news and details. Voting for the 70-member Delhi Assembly began at 8 a.m. today in an election that saw the ruling AAP, opposition BJP and the Congress engaged in a bitterly fought high-octane campaign. Over 1.47 crore voters are eligible to exercise their franchise. The ruling Am Aadmi Party is going into the Delhi election with the hope to repeat its stellar performance of the last assembly polls while the Bharatiya Janata Party, which backed all seven seats in the Lok Sabha election in May 2019, will be aiming at expanding its vote share in the national capital, according to sources. In a view of of the ongoing anti-CAA protest in Shaheen, Shaheen Bagh, the Delhi CEO office had put, has put all five polling stations in the area under the critical category and confidence building measures are continuously being undertaken to reassure voters. The police have deployed around 40,000 security personnel, 19,000 home guards and 190 companies of Central Armed Police Forces to ensure smooth conduct of the polls. Coronavirus has claimed 722 lives in China as of now while the number of confirmed cases has risen to 34,546, Chinese health authorities announced today. The epidemic is almost certain to become more deadly than severe acute respiratory Respiratory Syndrome, SARS, which had claimed 774 lives globally during 2002-2003, as per a media report. In India, 15 Kerala students who were stranded in Hubei province of China landed at the Cochin International Airport last night and underwent a thermal screening for the infection. As per media reports, the students travelled from Bangkok from Kunming Airport and then took an Air Asia flight to reach Kerala. When the flight reached Kochi at 11 p.m. yesterday, they were directly sent to the Kalamasi Medical College Hospital in five sterilized ambulances. The students have been admitted to an isolation ward of the hospital. However, the students were not allowed to meet relatives. Sagoban MLA R.K. Aimo today underlined on the need of maintaining transparency. The Congress MLA was speaking during a function to inaugurate a community hall of Local Youth Development Association Kwakaitil Lema Kujam Lekai in Imphal. Speaking at the function, R.K. Aimo further talked about the government-sponsored development programs for the welfare of the people. He assured that he will work for the growth of the state. Patron member of LYDA Wahengbom Amubi, Corporator of Ward No. 10, Salam Tiken and Corporator of Ward No. 7, R.K. Jiten, among others, attended the function. <laughs> Any Tabama, Sarkagi, Pirakpa, Hibisi, a quay amelasing at our river just guidance people to what Lambi do the Nepoina Piribasi, a quigna, a quigi through the Pangtok Serga, Lady Bissi Prasada, Yonan of Honabado, Madu Quay Dieta, Logzabani do maximum the Honas Raga, like Kaigi, a what pass, say, Labour Mamsi, Honas Abani Masitan, and the Vidum Yarongani, Sagolbanda, maximum the Quay Honas Abani, Hiraga, Nasigi Sugumba, Sangabasi, like Kaigi Mamsina, Yangsan Biraga. Kwakta residents have expressed displeasure over what they say substandard black topping on Inter Village Road under Kwakta Municipal Council of Moirang. It has been alleged that the black topping on Taibong Mokong Tingil IVR Ring Road under the council is of very low quality. Locals of Kwakta are angry at the pathetic condition of the road. President of Young Kwakta Organization, Anish Ahmed, said that connectivity is synonymous to good governance and urged that the concerned authority look into the matter at the earliest. <laughs> Quality control to the 
ikoi wari oi neta ga practically ugo phangda basina baja ikoi ge nungai ta buda amok ke hena chamom na le koilas thari ba black top koilas se ikoi lengak na athu bagi oi na miriang changan ningi aduga chap chap ma gi masida taugada ma thaudu ikoi na baja ikoi na taurak na hebi chap chap tha ji buda lai je now we'll be right back after a very short commercial break stay tuned wabiraganu Medile na pung kunmari chup na adong gi yum da medical oxygen thin ba lak pata nata na installation to wa yaabu gi kudong zaba pijari. Masita nata na darkar laiba oxygen regulator amadi makal kuding maki oxygen marks na singba puruktu na miyaung gi mateng pang zari. Loi na na anaba singa mari lai na ba makal kuding maki medical equipment sing, foldable bed, saxon machine, regulator, monitor, nebulizer, wheelchair amadi oximeter na ching ba laiba amadi waiba yaabu gi kudong zaba pijari. Adong sunga sima kol togdu na tanabiu ai khoi contact number 9205987988 amadi play store sang biduna medilen f download tabiu welcome back after the break Chassad battalion of 10 sector assam rifles under the aegis of headquarter igar south established a water supply scheme at aichi village of kamjong district under the border area development project yesterday the initiative was taken to address and eliminate the problems faced by the villagers by providing sufficient water for daily domestic users. Selen Battalion of 28 Sector Assam Rifles under the aegis of Headquarter IJR South organized an awareness lecture on coronavirus epidemic at Tuitong Village in Chandel District yesterday. Assam Rifles Medical Officer conducted the lecture in which a total of 10 elderly, 16 children and 15 youths of Tuitong Village were present. A training program on fish farming under Prime Minister Kaushal Vikas Yojna was held at the office of Moirang Kendra Progressive Front, Moirang Pilem Leka yesterday. A 47 trainees attended the first batch of the training. Booklet and uniforms were also distributed to the participants. The All Assam Students Union, ASU, AJYCP, the Artist Community and other organisations will take out a torchlight procession against the Citizenship Amendment Act throughout the state today. On the day when Prime Minister Modi sought to assuage the concerns of the people of Assam over the CAA while addressing a rally in Kokrajar, AA, ASU and other organizations opposing the CAA asserted that the act which violated the provisions of Assam Accord is an anti-indigenous legislation imposed on Assam against the wishes of its people. ASU and AJYCP leaders and representatives of other organizations appealed to the people of Assam to join the march. Jorhat based Toklai Tea Research Institute TTRI, will soon come up with an artificial intelligence center of excellence as per a media report. The center will be first of its kind for tea industry globally. Agnex Technologies, one of the leading agri-tech companies based in Mohali, has offered to set up the center at Toklai at their own cost to accelerate data-driven technologies in the tea industry. Pukan said it is a collaborative effort between TRA Toklai and Agnex Technology to fully work on artificial intelligence and data-driven technology. Assam is the largest producer of tea in India and can be called as the hub of tea industry of the country. Residents of around seven villages surrounding Alo in Arunachal Pradesh pledged to conserve Siom, one of the most prominent rivers of the West Siang district. The villagers inked a pact Yomgo accord yesterday, which aims to involve all citizens of West Siang, especially those living on the banks of the Siom, to come together and work to revive and conserve the river and all its tributaries. According to reports, the agreement was signed on the sidelines of the 6th Yomgo River Festival, one of the state's most popular river carnivals, which also got underway in Kabu village, the cleanest village of West Siang. Another short commercial break, stay tuned. Admission open, the Knowledge Home Boarding Income Coaching Center. Foundation course for class 9 and 10 will start from 18 April 2020 and foundation course for 11 and 12 will start from 15 April 2020. 
course highlights, small batches, conceptual based knowledge, chapter voice test, individual attention, regular feedback and parents teachers session, free personal counseling. For details, please contact the Knowledge Home Board Income Coaching Center, Hatta New Check on Road. Nauka Hearing at Center. Kumja listening ama chaupat mari phone doi ke hona chahi kun thamanga hena notice india ahan hearing at clinic mo ene lerak laba Nauka gi infal center ama hang jare te hi ama phone gi konjal loina na nil khongum phum na tawang nam da bi awa ba mayok na di na ha al kodim mag wa bi ru gano Nauka Hearing at Clinic ta ngasi mak leng sin direct na completely invisible water resistant ama di rechargeable oida ba digital hearing aid happy you tawang nam gi pangal wala ba dong gi khang na chana ba singles power si tambi yo ai koi gi lai from di Nagamapal Main Road Phogoi Sangbam Lekai near Community Hall mobile number na 6000954159 Welcome back. Hong Kong has begun a mandatory two-week quarantine for anyone arriving from mainland China in a fresh effort to contain the deadly new coronavirus. Visitors must isolate themselves in hotel rooms or go to government-run centers, while returning Hong Kong residents must stay inside their homes as per a report. Anyone caught flouting the new rules faces a fine and a prison sentence. Tens of thousands of travelers queued at the Chinese border city of Shenzhen to beat the Friday midnight deadline. Hong Kong has seen 26 confirmed cases of the virus and one person has died. The number of confirmed cases in mainland China stands at 34,546 with 722 deaths. Outside China, 270 cases have been confirmed in at least 25 countries with one other fatality in the Philippines. Now let's take a look at the sports news. Players who had participated in national Sepak Takro Championships were fettered at Kairang Maning Lekai Multipurpose Hall today. They had participated in various different nation, national Sepak Takro Championships held at Ranchi, Hyderabad and Kadapa. Sepak Takro officials and coaches organized a felicitation program. Former Pakistan batsman Nasir Jamshed has been sentenced to 17 months in prison at Manchester Crown Court as he pleaded guilty to conspiracy to bribe fellow cricketers in the Pakistan Super League. According to reports, the 33-year-old Jamshed was handed a 10-year ban by the PCB in 2018 and he was expecting a custodial sentence after changing his plea on the opening day of his trial. After the 17-month jail sentence, Jamshed's wife rolled out a statement saying that this verdict will allow cricketers to understand what happens if they choose to go on the path of corruption. Smriti Mandana slammed a superb half-century as India produced an improved batting show to notch up a seven-wicket win over Australia in the fifth T20, keeping themselves in the hunt for the finals at the Women's Triangular Series in Melbourne today. Put into bed, Australia posted 173 for five, riding on a 57-ball 93 by Ashley Gardner and Mac Lanning's 22-ball 37 after India skipper Harman Prikor won the toss and elected to field at Junction Oval. India then turned to overhaul the target, scoring 177 for three in 19.4 overs, which is the highest ever chase in T20Is. Overall, it is the third highest chase in women's T20I cricket after England's chase of 199 against India and again England's chase of 179 against Australia. 
16-year-old Shafali Verma finally came good, blasting a 28-ball 49 to give India a flying start. Her innings contained 8 fours and a 6. Now let's go through some of the local newspaper headlines. The Sangai Express, ahead of class 11-12 exams, council appeals teachers to call off protest. Final electoral rolls published. Delhi Assembly election today. Ahmadmi Party, Bharatiya Janata Party, Congress to fight triangular contest. Fagokta to intensify stir. Prime Minister reiterates CAA not to be used to settle outsiders in Assam northeast. The People's Chronicle. Previous governments kept notice issues hanging, says Modi. India steps up efforts to prevent spread of coronavirus. Mandatory thermal screening, quarantine. Integrated PER published with 19,12,649 total electors. Minister Radhish Yam helps medical professionals. Infall Free Press. Center adopts new approach to meet notice aspirations, says Prime Minister. Announces rupees 1,500 crore package for borough territorial area districts areas. Said women beat men voters in numbers. Integrated photo electoral rolls out. Taubal police arrests Assam Rifles personnel with over rupees 2 crore worth drugs. And the teacher government emphasis or face agitation, says college students. Manipur Mail. Signing of Boroi Court brings new dawn for Assam, says Prime Minister Modi. Conference of All India Association of Medical Social Works Professionals concludes. Age Multimedia Campaign. Before we end the bulletin, the top news headlines once again. Voting underway in Delhi Assembly elections amid tight security. And coronavirus epidemic almost certain to become more deadly than SARS. That's the end of the bulletin for the news today at 1pm. Thank you for watching.